Welcome to this look at new mods on Farming Simulator 22 with me, Mr. Sealy P. It's Friday the 1st of April and this is no joke. We've got some brilliant mods today. I mean, some really brilliant mods today. Uh, no updates, so we can get straight on with it. Uh, in front of me, we've got the XXL Solar Park by Razak. It's 10.7 megabytes download, 9 slots on console. Uh, you'll find it under build mode and generators. It's not cheap. It's 978 grand for this um, XXL Solar Park, and it is big. This will make you 36 grand a month. Uh, it, it, I think it pays hourly. I'm trying to think actually what it say. I have ordered a new controller. <laughs> uh, income per hour, 1,500. But obviously, it doesn't do that really anymore, does it? It spreads over the month because you might have different amounts of days in a month so it does say 36 grand and it is huge it goes all i'm surprised in all honesty i'm surprised the size of the solar park it doesn't pay out more i thought it would but um yeah 36 grand a month it's probably easier to see it from the air let's go into build mode and zoom out uh there you go it's pretty big and like i say quite expensive under productions under generators and right on the end there 978 grand um so yeah i mean it's, it's basically it's just a placeable and it'll earn you money like any of the solar panels and wind turbines those kind of things the xxl solar park by razak moving on we have the weather station this is 0 0.37 megawatts download one slot on console by hadstall mods and qwerty uh, the weather space stations and you place them on a the map are supposed to give you a more accurate weather forecast. This you'll find under build mode, under tools, and it will cost you 1,500. And there's not really much else to say about that. It will give you wind direction and uh, walk amount of rainfall and that kind of thing. But it's, yeah, I mean, it's supposed to give you an improved weather forecast. So, um, that's that one. The weather station moving on. We've got the Polish cow shed. Uh, the Polish cow shed is by, uh, I think it's Petrolnik, or Petrolnik. It's 9.58 megabytes download. It's eight slots on console. You'll find it under build mode and animals, and it will set you back 50 grand. It will hold 45 cows. When you place it, it does this. Now, I don't know if that's done for artistic flair to give the ground a bit more of an interesting look, but that's what it did to my flat ground when I placed it. And there's like a ridge across the middle of the cow pasture as well. So, yeah, I, mean, I don't know. Maybe it will make one. The manure heap I placed on the back, um, just to, as usual, just to double check that you will get manure. And you do, as you see. If you place a manure heap, you will get the manure. Triggers as we come in the door. Our milk trigger is just inside the door this end. Our slurry trigger is just at the other end, just there. The feed and straw triggers were literally just inside the door, but again, this is a very low ceiling. So you're going to need small trailers and preferably tipping left or right rather than tipping up or a push trailer if you can get one small enough that will come in the door for your feed and your straw bedding. And then your dialogue box, the gate does open. It says. There we go. Uh, dialog box is here for your 45 cows buying, selling, loading, or unloading. That's it, really. <laughs> Again, fairly quick. You'll find that, like I say, under production, uh, under um, build mode and animal pens. Lovely, nicely made. It's, I suppose you had 45 cows in there. It's quite a small pen for for 45 cows, but it, you know, it does the job it's supposed to do. Um, am I going to go to? Let's go to this next. This is cool. Now, we have an auto-load pallet trailer in the TLX Phoenix Rigid from 82 Studio. This is also an auto-load pallet trailer. Funnily enough, I was only looking at one of these and using one of these on my Carmsden map the other day, um, and I could really do one of these, so I'm going to get one. This is the auto-load trailer by E.R. Shabba. It is 1.91 megabytes download. It's six slots on console, 12 grand for the base model, which I think is, I mean, absolutely amazing. Now, you have to be careful with this. I'm going to show you something in just a moment. But along with the care comes an unexpected bonus. 
if we go into here and up to our tools if we go down to miscellaneous the standard in-game berkman for 12 grand is there this one is just here what's that was six slots didn't i yeah uh 12 grand for the base model now it doesn't show i'm just trying to look down the bottom there it doesn't show honey and there's a reason for that i'm going to show you in just a second but it does say in the description trailer with automatic charging function for factory products so if it's been produced by a factory it can load and if you look on the bottom it's got stuff that's been added in i've got the omatana bits and bobs there's also one along the end there there's one along the end there is that a tree there that can't load logs surely Hmm. Anyway, um, there's, there's maple syrup. We'll get to that in a minute. Um, so, options available. We can have wheel set up standard or standard two. If you go for standard two, the rim colour change will make no difference. So, if you want to do the rim colour change, you want to go for standard. We can change the main colour. We've got a matte brown, a matte white, matte blue, matte green, red, black, orange, yellow. A lovely dusky pink and the matte grey uh, and then rim colour you can mix and match with those as well or pick your own if you want to so it just gives you a little bit of an insert on the, the uh, rims and then you've got a license plate option if you wish to choose it so here's what I'm going to show you we open it up L1 and X there's no straps you don't need them now honey pallets I've got just here if I drive up to the honey pallets because these are produced by bees and not a factory you can't load honey pallets onto it but if I drive over to the fabric pallets that I've replaced they automatically load now they won't load on as fabric pallets everything that goes into the back of here will say all factory products on the boxes but bottom right it will tell you how much fabric or whatever it is you're putting in there I have tried I went and got a flower pallet as well to see whether or not you could mix two together and it wouldn't let me load the flower pallet on once I'd already started putting the fabric on, but as you can see, loads up very nicely. No problem at all. If I hop out, you can see a little bit better there, all factory products. Then unloading. Providing you've got space. So again, got 10,000 litres in there. I can close that, drive off, where we go. When we get to unload, as long as I've got space, um, R1 and unload. We'll unload a string of them, pull forward a bit more. And there we go, all unloaded. Couldn't be simpler. It's got a 20,000 litre capacity of whatever it is you're going to put into it. Absolutely brilliant. Now, something else I found by accident. <laughs> I put something in here and then went to the sell point. In heading to the sell point, well, it was the flower, actually. In heading to the sell point, I happened to go underneath the buy anything um, silo and let's open the doors and here's what happened it came up saying start filling now if we go into and this is a little bit if you don't like anything slightly cheaty or nefarious then you probably want to look away but if we go across there and you've got um, multi-fruit buying station look at the prices for buying things it's much cheaper to buy things than you get for selling them <clears throat> so, if I click on start filling, it will go through all of the things. Yeah, tree sap. Oh, yeah, tree sapling pallets. I was thinking not logs. Tree sapling pallets you can put in there. Um, all the different things that can be produced, you can put in by auto filling if you want. So, I did the flower and I did it and it paid me. And when I sold it, I made a massive profit. But keep this to yourself. I don't think it's going to work now. I went. Where's it gone? To close and I press this look top right I didn't get charged and I've got 20,000 litres of clothing in there like I said don't tell anyone if I go and sell this I can make like 500 grand or something stupid depending on what the price is I don't know why it didn't charge me and I haven't tried all of the products so again that could be a big mistake this may get an update if it does don't update you because <laughs> it works so as far as game-changing autoload pallet goes 
388 grand. So I'm assuming the price isn't because it was when I tried it earlier. So yeah, you can auto fill it if you wanted to. You don't have to, but it works brilliantly as an auto load trailer. Nice and small, cheap as chips. You can pull it with anything. Absolutely brilliant. Very impressed. We're going to have a look at that again later on for one of the other mods we're going to have a look at. So the auto load trailer by ER Shabba, game changer. Mm, you be the judge. Next, we've got these, and these are fantastic as well. This is the storage shed for products on Pallet by Zoddlezocht. 6.77 megabytes download. These are eight slots each on console, and they're 10 grand each. You'll find them under build mode and under silos. You need a separate one for each product, and it will take, uh, I think it's a million litres, I think it says. I'm sure it says a million litres. If we go down to silos and we scroll across till we get to them, there we go, all those there. Oh, it doesn't say the capacity. I'm sure on the website it says a million litres. Um, so we've got one there. Well, we've got one for lettuce, eggs, flour, bread, cake, butter, cheese, fabrics, clothes, sugar, uh, honey storage shed, which is the one I think I've picked yet, which I'm going to need on my Let's Play as well. Um, storage shed for cereals, um, sunflower oil, canola oil, olive oil, raisins, grape juice, tomatoes, strawberries, chocolate, planks, furniture. So there's something for everyone. Now, um, this one, if we go up to it, if I've got the thing, I don't know, field info's on. There we go. Bottom right, it says in storage, I've got 7,200 litres of honey. Now, if you put it on storing, the first few pallets you put in, it will put to the side because it's putting it as if it's storing them. But it will only put three at the side of each, as you can see there. Then everything else it will store inside. And we go and have a look. We have got our honey storage and we've got our fabric storage. So what it's saying there is stored. That's what's inside. And then they also have three pallets outside. Now you can then set that to storing, selling or distributing. So you can distribute to wherever you want. Now obviously the honey you've got to bring to it. Because you, you can't set honey to go from the honey pallet thing to anywhere. But you can go storage to storage I guess. The fabric though however, you can have that coming in. So your fabric, uh, your spinnery, you can have set to distributing, which will send it straight to your storage here, and then you can set it to sell from here if you want to. I mean, you don't have to, but... Um, so if I set that onto something else, for example, uh, if we put it onto selling... I don't know if I'll be able to put more in. Should be able to put more in anyway. Um, the trigger's pretty easy to use. I've got the liftable pallets mod enabled oh that's the other thing as well um the liftable pallets mod once you've loaded something into that trailer um it will allow you to lift it by hand afterwards straight away so yeah whereas before because i had it on storing it was putting three outside now it's putting on um selling they're not anymore because i'm not storing them so it's not going to store the pallets outside so you have to be a little bit more careful about where you place them for them to unload properly as you can see they can get a little bit temperamental If I check in my menu again, we've got more fabric in there, nearly 20,000 litres. Um, so, yeah, I mean, you can't take them back out again as pallets, obviously. Well, mm, I suppose you can if I set it to storing. Yeah, of course you can. What are you talking about? If I go back to my fabric and set it to storing again, it puts three out there. If I remove those, yeah, so you could if you put it on distributing and then decided actually I want to go and grab the pallets myself. If I move them out of the way, it should put more out, shouldn't it? There you go, yeah. So you can take them back out as pallets if you set it back to storing. Uh, brilliant. And they do have a light switch on the side here as well. Turn on light. So you can light up the whole, you know, both sides for loading and unloading if you want to. So, yeah, for storing, putting in, done that side, taking out that side. But it has to be set on storing for them to get them back out again. You can distribute and you can sell from these as well. I think they're brilliant. Not too expensive. Um, not too heavy on the slot count. Did I say what slot counts were on those? I think they were... Yeah, eight slots, weren't they? Yeah, of course they were. So, uh, next up, what are we going to look at? Th yeah, that's brilliant. I mean, that's by Zoddle Zox, and it's a very cool day for mods today. Um, brilliant mods, I think I'm going to call this one today. Brilliant mods. Ooh, exciting. So, <laughs> next we've got this. Uh, this is the Bura 6135 Tractor Speed 15.3. It's a little bit more oomph than the 
the base game standard one. 19.29 megabytes download, 14 slots on console. This is by Herr Krupp. Um, very nicely made, nicely detailed. The tractor speed on there. Obviously, we've got a cover. This base game standard one doesn't have a cover. And this is a little bit higher horsepower as well. Bit of a giveaway there by the 135. Um, yeah, nice looking tractor. It does sound nice as well. You'll find it under small tractors. Base game 6105 is 39 grand. This one's 49.9. Um, slot count will come down 14 to 1. We've got the optional Trelleborg, Michelin, Continental, BKT, back again. Under Trelleborg, we've got standard twins and back again. Michelin, we've got standard wheel weight and back again. Continental, we've got a narrow option, a wide option, back to narrow. BKT is wide only, and then back to Trelleborg. Um, that's it. That's it for options. Nothing else. I mean, there's a license plate, but no other options that change things on it, so to speak. Um, and it's 135 horsepower. Let's hop in. Lights. Nice and cheap for 135 horsepower tractor. Nice to have a bit of cover in case of inclement weather, or whether it be sun or a bit of rain. First person. Yeah, very nice. That's the Bura 6135 tractor speed 15.3 by her group. Next, we've got this. This is the Lizard CV29 Cultivator. It is 14.41 megabytes download. It's 10 slots on console and 7 meters wide. It's by Langrio Modding. It only comes in this green. We do have the option of it has rollers or rollers and tines. But we'll have a quick look in a second. I mean, for me personally, I think the green's wonderful, but obviously that depends on you. Uh, you'll find it under tools and cultivators. Only 13,673 for a seven meter cultivator. If we go back across and try and find, that's a six meter for 51 grand. 7.5 for 59.5. So 13,673, not too bad at all. So let's say roller or harrow and roller are your two options. 250 horsepower required. Open it up. Nice animation. Nice sound effects. And it does the job. The Lizard CV29 by Langrio Modding. Which brings me on to the last of the mods, and for me, I, I'm, I mean, so it, I say normally the last one for me is normally I try and make it the cool one. You kind of build up to it, but I have to say I've been really impressed with them today. I love the auto load trailer. I think it's brilliant. Um, I think the storage sheds for products uh, are, are brilliant. But this is maple syrup production. I've got a trailer here because I want to test something. So, maple syrup production. This is by GTX. It's two megabytes download, seven slots on console for the maple tree groves. Uh, and then there's another seven slots for the cell point. Cell point is separate, as you can see just here. That little logo was on the list of things that this trailer can collect. So I'm going to test that in just a moment. The only thing you need to provide once placed is water. That's it. And then you produce maple syrup. Look, the sap is rising. Spring has sprung. Tap the trees. Buckets are on. You don't have to do any of that. They're on there already. Um, and then you just add water. I'm pretty sure... I've been watching a few different people, as I often do. Um, and Modern Self-Reliance, they've just been doing theirs. And it's a 40 to 1 ratio to boil down the maple sap down to maple syrup. 40 to 1. But maple syrup. Oh, can't beat it. Lovely. Um, 
sorry, I'm getting sidetracked. Uh, water goes in there. You do have your um, point there for accessing, but obviously you can do it from your main. And you probably saw that anyway, but the maple syrup, I've got them both running. Water takes 20,000 litres to its capacity, and I have had it running through a day. I'm set on um, one day months at the moment on my um, test map. So in one day, I got three pallets. Or one month, I got three pallets of maple syrup, which is pretty good considering all you've got to do is add water. If I go into the build mode and we go to, what is it, productions, greenhouses, there we go, on the end there, right hand end, you've got the maple syrup farm. Um, the maple syrup farm is, like I said, it's seven, seven slots, did I say it was seven slots? Yeah, down to one. 16 grand, that's all. It looks like that. You can rotate it and place it wherever you want. Price may differ slightly depending on how flat the ground is. So that's for the actual um, you know, plantation grove, so to speak. And then if we go along to selling points, uh, where is it? Just there. It's a grand, and I think that's seven slots as well for the sell point. Uh, which you can place and then you're able to sell the lovely maple syrup you have been producing. Now... If we then go into uh, no, here, and let's look up maple syrup and see what it pays. I'm sure it's pretty good. Where are we? Unless the price has changed since yesterday. 3,596. That's not bad. And like I say, considering all we're doing is adding water, how much is each pallet? 288 litres, is that right? Yeah. 288 litres so yeah three pallets is not going to be a thousand litres but then at 60 you can I mean you could have a whole load of these coming couldn't you just add water i mean so what i'm gonna do now let's open this up and grab our auto load i haven't tried actually selling directly from the trailer with these Oh, it does work. Look at that. There you go, 864 litres. Especially if you get your water for free. It's not like they're hugely expensive to buy. 1,728. Let's go to the sell point. Like I, said, I don't know if it will take it directly from the trailer, or whether I have to unload it and then put it... Maybe I have to unload it. So I'm not coming up with an unload symbol. Okay, that's not a problem. So I imagine your sell point was a long way away, I suppose. Oh, okay. <laughs> so put it all back out of separate pallets. I might as well just lift them like that. Okay. Oh. No, this did to, this happened to me earlier. That's interesting. Why do all the other pallets, when they've gone through this work fine with the lift anything mod but these won't okay well that was a good test as well i'm glad i did that because i would have just assumed they would work like all the other pallets do but they do not appear i suppose the liftable pallets mod was set up before this was so it probably won't allow for it i'm surprised that works with it though anyway regardless of all that um yeah the sell points there we just saw what the prices were take them to your sell point and sell them Maple syrup, people. I honestly can't. I'm th thinking back to FS19, and again, I'm sorry I keep saying this, but for mod reviews, if I'd have done a mod review on FS19 for maple syrup production, people would have been like, mind blown, awesome. Pallets of maple syrup, maple syrup sell point, auto load pallet trailers. It's just brilliant, absolutely fantastic. And that's it for the well, start of a new month, end of another week. We do have two new maps out. I'm not quite sure when I'm going to get onto them. Uh, we have got Maypole Farm by Cavalier Roy. That is 100.85 megabytes download. And we've got Mecklenburg Lake District by Holden. That's not the Lake District. That's Mecklenburg. That's um, north, north, northeast, northwest of Germany. Um, the thousand, what's well, known as Land of a Thousand Lakes. Um, up where 
the Pommern Rugen, where that map is set as well. Uh, so Mecklenburg Lake District by Holden is also out. 126.78 megabytes to download. I hope you found this useful and informative in some way, shape or form. If you have, please give us a like. If you don't subscribe yet, please do. If you want to leave a comment, feel free. And if you want to share this video, then please be my guest. I'm, I'm drawn to these. Whatever you should choose to do. Thanks for watching.